Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another video. We got to talk about a grifter today, and this specific grifter has a secret channel that he mysteriously stopped posting on uh, for the time being. He literally does not post on this channel anymore, and we got to go ahead and talk about it, so let's get right into it. The YouTube grifter that I'm talking about is Andre Jig, one of the worst on YouTube, absolute hypocrite, absolute clown, said all kinds of crazy, insane things. First of all, he got exposed by CoffeeZilla for uh, basically copying a CNBC article in one of his videos. Second of all, he said that Bitcoin was going to go to 100K. He was a part of the Bitcoin and the crypto bull market. He was literally a crypto influencer. He was going on other people's podcasts explaining them why crypto is the future, bro. And it's going to make everybody rich and make everybody a lot of money. And it's so great. Fast forward to now, he doesn't even make mu he doesn't even make videos about crypto anymore. He completely stopped. He hasn't made a single video about crypto this year. Not one. Not a video on Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Shiba Coin. Echoes coin, whatever. None of that garbage. But here's the one thing that I do want to highlight. And you guys know that we talk about this on this channel. Not only do we talk about grifters and liars and frauds and scammers and clowns and awful people and terrible human beings on this channel, but we also talk a little bit about YouTube strategy. And the main reason why I talk about YouTube strategy on this channel is because, one, I have a lot of YouTube creators that follow me. Shout out to all of you guys. Uh, I know how hard it is to be the YouTube channel. Uh, so shout out to everybody that's on the grind, whether you're monetized, whether you're not, whether you're growing, whether you got goals, whatever you're doing, shout out to you. The reason why I like to talk about this stuff is because I maintain my position. I do not agree with what Mr. Beast and some of these other people say when they say that building a successful YouTube channel is 99% skill. I disagree. I think a lot of it is luck. I really do. At least in the finance space. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. If you look at Andre Jick's content and Graham Stephan's content, Today in 2023 with all the other amazing content creators out there, are you really going to tell me that those guys are the best of the best when it comes to making finance content? No, I don't think so at all. I can name two channels off the top of my head that are worlds better than them. One channel was called How Money Works, way better than those two in terms of just overall production. And then the other one is CoffeeZilla. Yes, I know CoffeeZilla is a scam buster. He goes after scams, but he's still in the finance space. Okay. Those two channels are absolutely amazing. And if you compare Andre Jick and Graham Stephan to the YouTube creators in 2019 or 2018, then yes, they're some of the best. But if you compare them to some of the high quality content we're seeing in 2023, they don't stand up to par at all. They're, they're just not that good. And let me go ahead and show you guys Andre Jick's secret channel. So this is his secret channel. It's actually a really weird channel. It's a really weird business idea that they have. We'll get into that in a minute. But this is Andre Jick's second channel. As you can see, you're looking at a guy with 2.25 million subscribers who can't even get 10,000 subscribers on his second channel. Well, why can't he do that? Because, what did I tell you guys? The reason why a lot of these finance YouTubers grew was not because of skill, like some other people say that it takes skill to grow on YouTube. I disagree. Think about it. In 2020 and 2021, you had the federal government that passed a bunch of stimulus checks and stimulus money to everybody. And what happened? Simple, supply and demand. There was not enough supply on YouTube to meet the demand, at least good content, at least good content. And so what happened was there were a plethora of people who went on YouTube looking for financial advice or looking for places to put their stimulus money in. Because one thing we know about a lot of these stimulus people, they took that money, they did the, they did the least responsible thing you could do with it. Did they pay off their debts? No. Did they, okay, let's break it down. So 2020, 2021, people got stimulus checks. They got unemployment money. Remember, the federal government gave an extra, I believe it was like three, $400 a week in unemployment benefits on top of your regular state unemployment checks. They gave that. They gave stimulus checks. They gave EIDL loans. They gave PPP loans, which a lot of people took fraudulently. And people took that money and they went to YouTube and said, what can I do with this money to turn it into a 3X or a 4X or a 5X? Nobody paid off their bills or did anything important or anything that an adult would do. They literally just took that money and gambled it. That is literally what happened. And so when they went on the internet, they searched up stock market, they searched up crypto, and who did they find? They found these guys whose channels ended up blowing up because there was so much demand for that kind of content. And we were in this crazy bull market that happened right after the crash of 2020. So what happened? You had a lot of average mediocre, sometimes in some cases, garbage content creators like Chris Sane, like Stock Up with Larry Jones, like uh, Stock Mo, who all three of them are horribly boring, not entertaining at all, not that articulate, not that smart, knows zero about the stock market, but their channel still blew up. 
Well, why is that? It's very simple. It's because of the demand that existed. And that is the same thing that I would argue happened with Andre Jick as well as Graham Stephan. Graham Stephan, I remember Graham Stephan way back before the pandemic. Graham Stephan was one of the only channels on YouTube that brought finance content in a way that was a little bit more entertaining. His content is still trash too. It's really not that good. His videos are very mediocre, not that great at all. He's even talked about on multiple podcasts that he feels stagnant. He feels like he's like kind of in a rat race here. He, he can't figure out what the next step is. The next step is to make better content, you know? But anyway, so my overall point of saying this is when you look at the fact that this guy, Andre Jake, can't even grow a second channel, should tell you everything that you need to know. You see, it was easy to grow a finance channel in 2020 and 2021 when the demand was there. But how can these guys fare in 2023? Oh, it's a whole different ball game. Views on finance content has gone down tremendously. There's a million more content creators who make incredible, high-quality, well-edited content than there were back in the day. And finance just isn't what it used to be. A lot of people have left and have gone on to what they normally originally watched. They don't really care for finance or stock market anymore. Now that many of them have realized that they're not going to be able to turn $10 into $100,000 or $1,500 into $10 million. It's just not realistic. And a lot of people realize that. And so they left the finance market. Okay. And so my overall point is, well, hold on, let's do this. Let's go ahead and show you guys what this guy even did in his podcast. It was so weird. So first off, this wasn't some mediocre podcast where they just turn on the cameras. This guy got music behind it. He got well edited stuff behind it, good editing and music and transitions and all this stuff. Let me show you guys a preview. So here's his interview that he had with me, Kevin. Let's play it. What happened to millennial money? Oh, yeah, baby! Wow, I feel that. He, I oh, my. That. I got charged with a DUI. Because my heart rate's going to go to 190. <laughs> Woo! People like you. Welcome to Don't Sweat It, the show inside a sauna. I am here. So you could clearly see, by the way, this girl is super creepy. I've, I've never liked her. I think she's just very weird and I hate her voice. I don't know if she really talks like that. I highly doubt it. I feel like she's one of those TikTok people who like try to do that voice. So today I was going over to the garden and now I'm going to like, shut up. Like, you know what I mean? But anyway, um, so you can clearly see this is very well edited. Uh, clearly he paid some type of editor to do this. Um, the transitions, the music, the suspense, all that different stuff. And he still couldn't grow this channel to the point where he ended up literally just stopping. Like he just completely halted all videos, production. Uh, he hasn't posted in four months on this channel. He used to post consistently. See, look. Look how consistently he used to post on this channel. And look at some of the guests this guy had. This guy had Sean with Think Media on here. He's got two million subscribers on YouTube. Spencer Cornelia, he got on here. Uh, I don't know who any of these other weirdos are. He got Jeremy LeFay. Oh, my God. He got Joshua Mayo on here. And the video didn't even get that many views. That's crazy. Uh, I don't know who this guy is. He got me, Kevin. So, yeah. He obviously had everything you would need to have a successful channel. Andre Jick has the money to build a successful channel. He has the network to build a successful channel. And he has the knowledge, you would think, to build a successful channel. But his secret channel that many people didn't even know about uh, still failed. So, it's just very interesting. Let's go ahead and play more of the video. With Andre Jick, my co-host. What's up? And I'm also here with Meet Kevin, who is our guest for today. This is the show that takes place inside a sauna. We start at level one. And by level five, the heat in... Tell me that lady is not super weird and creepy. By the way, why is Meet Kevin have no shirt on? That's another reason why I why I think these guys... Some of these guys in finance are just weird. A lot of these content creators are just creeps. Like, they're creepy. Like, why would you have a podcast where you sit in a hot sauna with a bunch of shirtless people. That's such a weird concept. Why would anybody want to watch that, you freaking weirdo? Like, I, I just don't get it. So there's that too. Um, okay. Index, which factors in both temperature and humidity, means that our bodies are going to be experiencing what feels like over 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Can our guest make it to the end? Will he survive? I think he can. Today, we're talking with Kevin Paffrath, AK. All right, I think you guys get the point. Anyway. That's really all I got to say. I just wanted to roast Andre Jick real quick and just laugh at the fact that uh, this man started the second channel and it completely failed. And the reason why is because, like I said, many of these guys are mediocre content creators. And I know we're going to have some crybabies in the comments that are going to say, oh, you're hating on them. You're just mad because you're not as successful as them, blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. I speak the truth, okay? I'm not hating on nobody. I'm not a hater. I just speak the absolute truth. It's facts. These guys would not have blown up so big 
if it weren't for the bull market in 2020 and 2021. It's just facts, okay? Don't get mad at me, except for what it is. And if I'm wrong and I'm such a hater, then why is it that this guy started a second channel in 2023 and now he gave up on it and it didn't do well? Oh, because I'm right. Building a YouTube channel is extremely hard, and sometimes you need a little luck to build to build one, like these guys got. A little bit of luck. All right, there you guys have it. That'll go include today's video. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.